Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you three science experiments that you probably shouldn't try at home. So let me put on my safety glasses and you can sit back and enjoy. Number one, you can be surprised what a little bit of water and an empty aluminum can is capable of. I'm going to pour in a little bit of water into the can and then place it on a stove. When vapor starts to rise from the opening, I'm going to turn off the heat, lift the can and turn it upside down into an ice water bath. Instantly, the can crumples on itself. The steam from boiling water fills the can completely. When dipped in cold water, the steam condenses which causes the pressure to fall drastically inside the can. The greater pressure outside causes the can to implode on itself. Experiment number 2. When you bring a balloon close to a flame, the result is pretty obvious. But if you fill a small amount of water in the balloon, it doesn't explode as you would expect it to. This time, the rubber which is stretched so thin passes on the heat from the flame to the water instead of absorbing all of it and bursting. And for experiment number 3, I'm gonna try something which I've watched before but never tried myself. The science behind it is pretty sound so I guess I'll be safe. I'm gonna grab some Tupperware and pour in a little water. Next, I'm gonna add some dishwashing liquid and mix it in. I don't want to splash and make any bubbles because that's what the next step will do. I'll grab a butane spray and press it upside down to release a good amount of butane into the mixture. This will cause a bubble bath to rise which is full of the flammable gas. Now I'm gonna wet my hand and scoop a handful of the bubble. And here's the fun part. The butane in the bubbles catch on fire and go up in flames. But there is no damage done to the hand. See the butane gas is the only flammable thing in the mixture. Even though it catches on fire, the layer of water and soap on the wet hands prevent the hand from burning. I actually messed up the initial tries to be honest. I was just too scared and I had to do a couple of tries to get the technique right. You have to scoop a little bit of the foam in the palm of your hand and not just cover your hand in it. The smell of burnt hair from my forearm made me figure this out. Alright, that's it for now guys. If you decide to try these at home, please make sure you have the right safety equipment and an adult supervision, unless you are one of course. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks, in fact. You can follow me on Facebook and other social media, all the links are in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.